with instructors and courses and students living online and doing exams online we have to change the way that we're giving exams and quizzes and tests and whatever but one of the things that's difficult is um, getting students to actually doing work to do work on a piece of paper so we can see their work if it's a math class or if it's an engineering class or if it's anything where we have to actually see them doing work on some kind of piece of paper how do we get them to do that during an exam or on an online test? Well, essentially what we do is we use a normal Blackboard Collaborate test and we choose something called file response. Get the students to actually take a piece of paper and then write the stuff down there, take a picture of it or put it in their scanner if they have one at home and scan it to a, an image or a PDF. doesn't really matter what the file format is. And then put that onto their computer and then save it and then, then they can submit it. What I do personally is I give my students lots of extra time to do that. Because if I'm demanding that, yeah, I need to see your work, you have to take a picture of it or put it in your scanner. Sometimes what I want them to do is actually put two or three images into one PDF actually for assignments. So what I get them to do is actually take images, put them into a PDF, put them into Word document and then save it as a PDF so I can actually have one. Or if they can just, if they have a PDF editor, they can do that. However I want it, I want it as one PDF. I always give them lots of extra time to do that. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a test on Blackboard where you can set a window. You can say, okay, students can take this task, it's test. It's a two-hour test, and they can do it any time from now until the end of the week, like a quiz. But they have what's called a file response where they're going to actually do work on a piece of paper, take a picture of it or scan it, and then submit it to Blackboard. And then we can see it on Blackboard and mark it there. So the first thing you're going to do is there are a couple of different ways to do it, but I like to do it this way. One is you can actually go over to, uh, I'm just going to show you, um, I've set up a midterm exam folder, and that exam folder is going to be available all week during the exam week. They're going to click on here and they can see this. Now, like I said, there are two ways to do this. One is I can actually just create a test right here, or I can go down here into course tools and I can go to test pools and surveys. Pools are really cool because I can actually make the same question, like question one on any test. I can have four different versions of it and I can load that in. So I'm not going to show you how to do that right now, but maybe I'll do that in another video. But right now I'm just going to say tests. I'm going to start a new test. I'm going to build a test. Okay, so I'm going to call that the midterm and I'm going to call it midterm uh, winter 22. Now that's it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to press play. Here we go. Now I have all of these options. I can create all of these. I can create um, a calculated numeric. I can do a multiple answer, multiple choice, or I can do file response. So I'm just going to call this a uh, question one. Okay. Now I'm going to put the question in here. I'm going to say, Hey, this is the situation, you know, whatever. Here we go. Let me, I've got some stuff already here. So I'm just going to copy this from word and I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to hit control paste and I'm just going to say keep formatting because I, I put it in Word and I formatted it in Word specifically. If you don't do that, let's just undo that and just hit paste and say remove formatting. It comes out a little bit sloppy, but I can fix it very easily. It's just that I like to keep it in whatever Word format I did it in. So here we go. Now I can kick up the font maybe a little bit if I wanted to, whatever. There you go. So now what they're going to do is they're going to do this, but I also need to give them some kind of diagram so they can analyze it and work with it. So in this case, I'm going to click on this. Now I've already got a diagram and it is over here. Uh, it's down here. Uh, where, where there? Exam question one. Here we go. So this is the diagram. I can increase the size of this so they can see it better. Um, and you might want to have a better diagram than this. This is a little bit faded, but this is actually from a screenshot. So um, there you go. So they can analyze this diagram. Now I've got these instructions here, scan or take a picture of your work and submit it under attached files, browse local files. And if you don't know what that means, I'll show you later. Um, my students know what that means, but if you don't, if you haven't done that before, they may not know. So I'm just going to submit. Now here's the question. I've created this exam. I can put another question in and uh, as many as I want. And in this case, this question is worth 10 points. Okay. So now I'm going to go back over to here, over to my learning materials. I'm going to go back into my exam and I'm going to load this file. I'm going to go test and this test will be down here. 
and I'm just going to click on that and submit and there we go it's going to go down there now I can write some instructions on here this test is good this will be open for two hours this will be whatever you want um, there are a lot of different options here you can discuss with your students and then even tell them by the way make sure you have some paper before you hit begin make sure you have paper get your calculator ready maybe a ruler or whatever and then hit begin and at that time you'll have two hours so they'll be able to see all of this description before they hit begin so they'll be like oh, okay okay i know what i'm supposed to do i better make sure i get some paper so they don't jump in the exam and say oh my gosh i gotta get a piece of paper and i didn't know i need my calculator <laughs> yeah okay so open test open the test in a new window for sure do that so it opens in a new window in their browser uh make available yep um, announcement nope multiple attempts if you want maybe you can give them two attempts at the exact same test I only do that if I'm using pools where they'll next time they go in to do the test question number one will be similar but it will be different it'll just generally it'll be similar with different similar with different numbers uh, here we go so um, and then if they're going if you're going to do two multiple tabs uh, attempts depends on if it's a just a file response do last graded attempt because that's the one that will pop up when you do your marking anyway so i'm going to set the timer to 120 minutes um if you don't select on or off if you don't select auto submit it'll still go they'll actually i thought i typed in 120 um it'll still go more than 120 minutes but the students will know it'll say hey your time is up and then it will show how much extra time they took uh, when you go and mark it. Um, so I just hit auto submit on. Now, again, I may want to say, you know what? You guys have all week to do this till Sunday night, midnight. Go ahead. But I set it so that they only have two hours to write it. So after submission, so upon entering the exam, they will have 120 minutes. Or you know what? Because they, the actual exam takes about 120 minutes. I want to give them a little extra time to fumble around to take pictures or use their scanner. And then maybe because they're taking it with their phone, they have to email it to themselves to get it onto their computer because they're not going to be doing their exam on their computer, on, on their computer, on their phone. Can they do their exam on their phone? Actually, they could. They could actually do their exam on their phone. And the image is right there. But if anything, I'm just going to say, you know what? Take 150 minutes. I'll give you an extra 30 minutes to do whatever. I always give my students lots of extra time. I want everyone to do well. So I can put a due date if I want. Um, and in this case, because of, I'm going to have more than one question, I can say one question at a time and prohibit backtracking. Or I can say all at once and they'll see all three questions or all five questions. They'll be able to look at them. Uh, and then they'll be able to um, think about it a little bit more, maybe see the bigger picture. It's up to you. It's all about what kind of exam we're writing. So I'm just going to say one at a time, prohibit backtracking. You can randomize the questions if you want. Now, this stuff over here is all about your feedback because in this case, I'm doing an exam or a quiz where I'm going to be marking them individually and then I may type in some feedback when I mark it. So I'm just going to write feedback over here. And that's just after submission. So, um, and then the score per question, that is if it's an automatic quiz. So if it's something that the computer marks it itself, then they'll know whether they got it right because the computer will tell them. So in this case, it doesn't matter. So yes, show them feedback. Um, there you go. So I'm going to hit submit. And now this is done. What I'm going to go into is I'm going to go into um, student mode. And I'm going to jump into here and I'm going to go to um, lecture material and I'm going to jump in and I can write the exam because I think I said, yeah, there we go. So now here we go. I've got this and it gives me the instructions on what I'm going to do. This is stuff that Blackboard did of all the settings. But if I did type any instructions in, it would also show these instructions right here. And the instructions would be make sure you got a piece of paper, make sure you got a pencil and an eraser and, a, and a, you know what? You need to use a ruler for some of your work and your calculator and whatever else and open up the, the worksheet or whatever supporting material you want them to have. And they'll be like, okay, I'm ready to go. And you hit, and then they hit begin. And look, oh, there's a question here. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's this drawing here and I've got to do some of this stuff here. Um, now, I should have probably hit enter after browse local files maybe another two times. So this came down here. I'm not sure why it's right beside. But here I am. I'm a student. I know this. I can see that it's worth 10 points. I know what to do. And it says here, scan or take a picture of your work, browse local files. Okay, so 
I'm now, I'm, I got a piece of paper out, I'm a student, and I'm writing all my stuff down, and I, I do my calculations, I double, triple check everything, and I'm like, I'm good to go. So, I got two options. One is I can go to my scanner and scan it, if I have a scanner. If I don't, I've got a phone, and I'm going to take a picture of it, then I'm going to probably email that to myself so that I can get it on my computer. Then I have the file, and then I'm going to go browse, lo browse local files, and then I'm going to go to wherever I put it in my downloads or wherever, and then I'm going to select the file. So let's just select this file here, and I'm going to submit that, and I'm going to press play here. Now, once I do that, and I say submit, uh, save and submit, um, I'm not sure if that'll take, if I had two questions, would that take me to the next question? I forget, but they'll figure it out. I mean, it's not difficult. If there are two questions, the exam is not going to completely submit until they do it all. So there you go. You know how to create an exam that has a file response where they can actually do work and you can see their work. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how to mark that stuff. So I'm going to go over here. Oh, wait, uh, and I'm going to exit preview. Now I'm going to go over here to my grade center and I'm going to mark that. I'm going to take a look at what I submitted. So here we go. I'm looking at my grade center. My name's in the top and I'm going to go all the way over here because my midterm is the last thing on here. I'm going to view grade details and then I'm going to go view my attempt. And so this is the exam, right? I can see the question. And then what I can do is I can see the student's response here. I'm going to click on this response. It's downloading. I think if it was a PDF, if I had uploaded a PDF, I actually would open. No, I think it actually downloads it. So now I have to actually open it up and look at it. So I've opened it up. It's just a PowerPoint. So I'm looking it up and I'm looking at it and I can see what the students did. Then I can mark it um, and I can leave some feedback. I can say whatever I need to put here. Yeah, you did pretty good. Although, hey, you know what? Your whatever, your angles were wrong or whatever, <laughs> whatever you have to say. You didn't put units in your work or whatever you have to do to give them some feedback so they know what they you know they did wrong or right or whatever and then you can mark them you can just say yep that's good okay whatever i'm going to give you an eight or a ten or whatever you need to give them and then submit so when they go into my grades they will see that and they will also see the response so as a student i'm going to go in here and i'm going to go to my grades I'm going to go down to here to my midterm exam and I can click on that and any anything that I wrote there as the instructor, they will see that right here and they'll see that they have an, a grade of 8 out of 10 for that question. But they'll see all the questions. So if, it was, if I had three questions there and I got, you know, 10 on each, they would say, oh, okay, 30 out of that or whatever, whatever the marks are. They'll see the final marks and then they'll see the feedback for every single question. There you go. So I hope that works. I hope that helps you understand how you can do an exam where students actually write stuff on paper and submit it. Plus, they have a time window to do it, but also they can write the exam whenever they want from now until next week. Okay, bye.